Hi, today we'll talk about routing loops. I created a topology with uh, two locations, okay, headquarters and our branch office. We have a point-to-point -point connection between our offices and we have recently received a new link between our locations and uh, I managed to create a routing loop with ERGRP and I will try and show it to you. Uh, right now there is no bandwidth under this interface. Uh, so let's go to uh, PC0. Uh, or let's go to, yeah, PC0 should be okay. Okay. And let's, let's try and ping the other side. So let's try and ping uh, this switch over here. It's 210.2.1.98. Okay, good. Let's try and trace route. So see how this packet travels around the network. Okay, so it goes to uh, 210.2.1.100. So this is the IP address of this router, that interface here. Uh, so let's use the simulation mode and make sure that that's the case. That's the advantage of packet tracer. We can see how this packet uh, travels around our network. Okay, so it goes to our switch, core switch, core switch, router, and it arrives at this switch. Good. Okay, what I want to do now, I want to make sure that this link will be our primary link and this one will be our secondary link. Okay, so I will use uh, the bandwidth command to uh, tell ERGRP to prefer this path. Okay, uh, let me go to this. Uh, core switch show IP root okay so it will go to that is the directly connected network so let me go under this interface this link okay and tell your GRP that it's a really really slow uh, connection so it will prefer uh, that link instead, okay? Uh, so, interface, this is F024, bandwidth, let's put 10. It's like a very, very slow connection, okay? Please remember, your neighbors will go down and up, so in a production environment, you should be very careful with that. Let's do the same on uh, router 1 and we'll put this command up there, F00 as well. Good. So now, when we try and trace route, it should go, that's right, it should go via uh, this uh, router, okay? So we can see it goes uses 210.2.1.202 that is this IP address okay so let's use the simulation mode again let's see okay so here play okay good now as I mentioned, I managed to create a routing loop in my ERGRP topology. And the reason why is that I have a layer 3 switch here. And when you try and look at this switch, uh, show IP ERGRP neighbors you will see that I have a neighbor for every single VLAN that I created. 
and uh, that's a bad practice. You should never do that. You should put a passive uh, interface and uh, have one neighbor. But I, I just played with some topologies, and that's what I did. And the RGRP uh, was confused, and uh, I will try and uh, recreate this uh, issue now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to trace route from here, okay, and uh, I am going to disable that link between uh, these two routers, okay. Let me deal with that one, okay, and try and trace route again. Good, let's go back, try and trace route again. So it's like a flapping interface. Let me delete it again. Okay, go back again, delete it again, again, okay, hope we'll be lucky enough to do that, come on here GRP, let's do it again. Here we are. Okay. We have a loop in our network, as you can see. Okay. That's good, because I put this link back, so let's do it again. Let's hope that it will create a loop. Let's do it again. Remove that guy. Here we are. Okay, so we have a loop in our network. Okay, let's go to the simulation mode and see why. We delete that guy from here to here. Okay. Okay. And take a look what's going to happen. Okay. It's going to loop between our my core switches. Okay. Now let's go to this router and try and type show IP root. And uh, for instance I can see that I have two paths to 210.2.1.96 so to the other side which is of course not true and the reason why is that I have two neighbors one for VLAN 20 and one for a point to point connection okay you should never do that of course but uh, ERGRP on the other hand ERGRP could not figure it out okay so let's do it again Delete. Play. Okay, and we have a loop in the network. The good thing is that we have this tool that is called traceroute, okay, and we have TTL, so we will see uh, that this is our problem, okay, because it will it will show. We, we, we will be able to see that straight away here, okay, because it should take three, four hops to get to the destination, not uh, 55, yeah? So that's the advantage of layer 3. Uh, if you had a loop like this at layer 2, it would be much more difficult to figure it out. You would have to look at spanning tree and uh, make sure that uh, your root uh, ports are okay, your root bridge is okay, and so on. Okay, it's much easier to see it here because I can see a uh, routing table and uh, fix it in a few minutes. Okay, I have to tell you that I did the same topology with OSPF, and uh, again I I created uh, OSPF uh, routing here with the neighbors between my VLANs because this is a layer three switch, a core switch, so I have a few VLANs here, 
and I have to tell you that OSPF managed to uh, figure it out and there was no loop. Uh, let me pause the video and I will show it. Okay, we're back. I have the same topology with OSPF running. Okay, uh, point to point link. So let's do the same. Let's put the bandwidth command under this guy. Okay, and let's do the same here. That was F00. And 10 to make sure that OSPF is not uh, using this uh, root at the moment. Okay, uh, let's go to PC0 and let's try and ping this the switch on the other side, which is 8. Okay, OSPF is still forming some neighbors, so let's give it a sec should figure out the correct path in a few seconds okay right now it's better it's timed out so uh, SPF neighbors here we are okay so we can reach the other side let's trace route to 10.2.1.58 just let me remind remind you that this switch and I'm trying to access it from this PC Okay, and we are going using this link. Okay, and let me let me do it uh, the same uh, thing as I did for PRGRP. So I will remove this link and try and trace route. So this uh, this way we will try and do the same for OSPF. Okay, so it. Uh, send this packet to 177 so to this router okay so let's do it again okay let's go back trace route again okay let's remove it again okay it's good let's put it back and so on and you can believe me I did it 200 times and I uh, didn't manage to break OSPF why because OSPF is a link state routing protocol so it knows everything about your network so that's why it's much more clever than ERGRP or uh, RIP okay so let's try and remove this link again and uh, trace route good it goes to 21205 but this router will bounce it back to uh, 177 to this uh, link uh, okay uh, let me show you the routing table here and the neighbors show IP OSPF neighbors as you can see I have neighbors in all of my VLANs that's that's a bad practice by the way it's, it's just a lab remember never do that in, in a real life uh, situation okay uh, show I show IP root and as you can see that is a problem for ERGRP, okay? That it can, uh, that it could uh, see more than one path to 177. But OSPF was uh, good enough to figure it out, and there was no loop in my network. Thank you very much.